this is an overview of the first part of the quadratic integrate and fire uh, data science project in 122. Um, you're going to get this file here and I've already included these measurement things to extract um, the period of sp the spiking period. All right, you can see I have RC here um, and I'm setting this uh, input positive uh, between 0.1 up to 2 and steps of 0.1. Here's a V reset of minus 1 and it'll peak at 2. So let's just run it. And you can see I have all these spikes that um, we can zoom in. All right. Now what I want is a relationship of the frequency versus the input B. So I just come over to Spice Error Log, right click here, plot step measure data, and then plot the period. And so this axis is B, my values of input, and then this is the period. You can see it gets faster. Now sometimes you want to measure the frequency, just one over the period, and there we go. Now the so that's just the first part okay um, but then um, you might have a different time constant so let's use a time constant of one millisecond all right I'm gonna put in point one U here I'm going to rerun the simulation and it chokes and the reason why is that in order for this to work you have to have some kind of delay and this is just a behavioral model usually delay or memory is provided by a capacitor and an op amp here it's with one milli so what you need to do is automatically set that So I'm going to add a parameter called delay that equals R times C divided by 100. That way, that time step will always be 100 times less than the time constant of the integrator. And then over here, instead of 1 milli, I'm going to put delay and then it should run all right now the thing is is this is going to take forever to run so I'm actually going to stop it all right so I'm simulating too many spikes so I'd like to only uh, simulate like three And the way I'll do that is come over here and I have a simulation time parameter 3.1 because I want a little more than three periods of spiking and then this is the equation that'll give me the period the theoretical value of a of the spiking frequency so I just make a new parameter and then in transient I do that. Now the other time I did that, it took maybe 10 minutes for that simulation to run. This is very quick. And again, I can just view spice analysis. Oop, excuse me. View spice error log, plot measured step data, period. And we can see that the frequency has changed quite a bit. Now the last thing we need to do is measure the switching threshold. All right. 
and what I think I'll do is make that a separate video.